let's move down a little bit here and go to this item right here. This is your time code for your timeline. Shows the, it shows the exact minute, frame, second, the hour, minute, second, and frame that your, that your uh, playhead is listed at. As I grab this playhead and move it back and forth here, it's, you'll see this changing. As I move that back and forth, you can see the time code changing right there. So once again, this is your hour. Like I said in the previous episode, this is your hour meter. This is your minute meter. This is your second meter. And this is your frame meter. And when you get up to, I'm hitting arrow right here to progress. Since this is 24 frames per second, I get a 23 and arrow once to the right. And that resets to zero and updates your seconds. And once your seconds gets up to 59, and then your, uh, your seconds get up to 59. And when this resets, it changes to zero, zero, and updates your minutes to one. And then when, they, when minutes get up to 59, it'll reset this, and, uh, uh, reset your hour, and update that to one, and so on. And that's the way time code works. Down on your timeline here, I'm gonna hit Shift Plus and shrink down and get my video to a standard track height there. Another way of changing your track elevation is, uh, your track height is to go in on the, grab this little line in between, and you can make them larger or smaller. You can kind of customize them to the height that you want. And you do that to individual tracks. Uh, I'm gonna move my mouse over, hit tilde, so we can kind of look at this full screen here. Once again, tilde is between your tab and your escape key. But what we've got here is we've got our video tracks on top, and the separation line right here and our audio tracks below that. So down here you're going to be mixing audio, up here you're going to be editing video. And you have several tracks for compositing. If you put for compositing or even cutting to something, uh, like right here I've got this little pickup, this uh, pickup wine bottle on top of this track, on top of this track right here. So whatever is on top will cover whatever's on the bottom here. So let me get, go back to normal here and watch what happens as we arrow through this. Right when I cut to right when I hit that frame right there, it cuts up to this shot. This shot is still playing underneath it, but we're just not seeing it because this one is covering it. Um, in fact, if I just grab that and move it, now we see the frame below it. If I move this and put it in front of it, now we see this because that's on top. So whatever is on top takes priority. In fact, later we'll get into compositing, but I can just double click on my file here and shrink this down. And you can see below it to the file that is below it now. Since I made this a different size, you can see the wide shot below it rather than this close up. Undo that. 